The Mead High School Junior ROTC posting the colors at Thursday's observance of Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. Day. This year's program featured a very special late edition this week. More on that in just a moment. Also this week, 1.6 million service members have a decision to make. ACS can help. It's tax season again and volunteers are needed. These stories and much more, but first the Army 1st Recruiting Brigade and the Fort Meade Equal Employment Opportunity Office hosted this year's Martin Luther King Jr. Day observance at Club Meade. This year's guest speaker, West Point graduate, former Fort Belvoir Garrison Commander and movie and television actor Colonel Gregory Gadsden. In May 2007, as commander of the 2nd Battalion, 32nd Field Artillery in Iraq, he lost both his legs in an IED attack. Needless to say, he's an inspiration to many, just as Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. serves as an inspiration to the Colonel and to us all. But Dr. King, although I never got to meet him, is one of those examples of someone who lived a selfless life, who, who had a cause, who had a passion. Not that my passion, not that my cause was, was that of his. Mine was being a soldier. But his example, but his example of being, of putting all, being passionate and putting his all into a cause. Putting his, putting his all into a cause when he knew that he was endangering his life is an example that all of us can identify with. I'll be posting the entirety of the Colonel's presentation on our YouTube channel next week. Stay tuned. Meanwhile, according to the Defense Department, nearly 1.6 million service members have a big choice to make between now and the end of the year. The choice, whether to remain in the Legacy or High 3 retirement system or opt into the new blended retirement system. It's a huge change in military pay and benefits. Army Community Service Financial Readiness is offering briefings every Monday from 9 to 11 to help. Those briefings are intended to help service members um, better understand blended retirement systems. So whether they have already taken the mandatory uh, online training offered through JKO or have not yet taken the training, uh, there's a good time to um, come in, ask questions, kind of go over the basics in case um, it wasn't uh, you know clear when they took the training um, and make sure that they you know have the information that they need in order to make uh, the best informed choice regarding their retirement plan options. The chef says the questions he gets at the briefings run the gamut, but everyone wants to know one thing. I think service members who are opt-in eligible certainly want to know, you know, what's the best choice for me uh, and my family, and uh, that's very understandable. Uh, unfortunately, you know, we can't tell them exactly what the best choice is for them. It's a very personal and individual choice. Um, and quite frankly, uh, I could find an argument for the same service member either opting in or choosing to remain in the legacy system. Sign up for a Monday briefing by calling ACS Financial Readiness at 301-677-5590. In more financial news, it's tax season once again, and the Fort Meade Tax Center is looking for full and part-time volunteers to serve as tax preparers and administrative staff. No experience is necessary. The required training takes place January 19th through the 26th. If you're interested, call 301-677-9086. The Tax Center's annual ribbon cutting ceremony is coming up Monday, January 22nd. Appointments will be accepted starting on that date. Elsewhere, in a continued effort to reduce Fort Meade's deer population, the U.S. Department of Agriculture's Wildlife Service is scheduled a deer cull on the installation starting on Monday, January 22nd. The target is to have 12 to 18 deer per square mile. Currently, the population is measured at 37 deer per square mile. According to the Fort Meade Environmental Division, overpopulation is detrimental to both deer and the installation. Like last year, the deer meat will be donated to the Maryland Food Bank. Ford Meat has donated nearly 13,000 pounds of venison since 2015. In other news, the Ford Meat app, available on both the iTunes and Android app stores, has been available since last summer. Up until now, though, government phone users have been left out in the cold. As of this week, you can now download the app for your government-issued mobile device. The Ford Meat app began life as a mass notification tool, and the more people that download it, the more effective a tool it becomes. And that's me week for this week on Brian Span for everyone at Mead TV and the Fort Meade Public Affairs Office. Have a great weekend and a great Mead week.